What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and today we have a little bit of uh, Steven Universe news or I guess it's not news at this point. Um, Just kind of a discussion about the upcoming Steven Universe console game Save the Light. Um, But before we get into that I actually want to give a quick shout out uh, to a man named uh, Clint Bracey. He is the owner of the Facebook Facebook page uh, The Rise and Fall of Nickelodeon and he's going through some rough times right now. He takes care of his family and had a major setback and uh, he actually just opened a GoFundMe. Great member of this community. If you guys could potentially go donate, I'll leave a link to the description in the description below. Um, if you can't donate, just share it around Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about him. He seems like a really nice guy, and he's he's been a v- very vital source of animation news, and he's just a really great member of this community. So if you could go check that out, like I said, I'll leave it. The first thing you'll see in the description is that link. So go check that out. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about some some video games. Um, so what are your initial thoughts? Because uh, you didn't get to talk about it in the original video. What are your initial thoughts of Save the Light? Um, it looks amazing. <laughs> I mean, I I played uh. Uh, Attack the Light, the one on the mobile game back in 2015, um, like pretty much all the way through. I mean, I beat it, but I didn't do like all. I didn't get all the uh, treasure chests and stuff. But I love that game. It was great. Um, it was playable. For, you know, I'm not the best video game video gamer <laughs> out there, but it was still really fun for me. Um, I love RPGs uh, too, so this is exciting to see for sure. A console game, we've been waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> you had your doubts. I uh, Yes, I definitely had my doubts. Mackenzie uh, yes. MK Atwood definitely exposed us on Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited. I've always wanted a Steven Universe console game as well. Um, this just got announced for PAX East, so a little bit more information came out. Um, so this is being developed by Grumpy Face, who I believe developed Attack the Light as well. Yes. Um, so that's that's a good sign. Attack the Light was very well received. It was kind of like one of those mobile games that was like that took the time to not be a mobile game, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, just a little, a little more a little more polished than your traditional uh, average mobile game for the most part. Um, but uh, yeah, so apparently there's going to be eight playable characters. So so far we've only seen Steven, Connie, which is awesome. A lot, lot of expansion right there because before it was only Steven and the original three. Uh, Crystal Gems, but now Stephen, Connie, Greg, which is interesting, um, Garnet, and Amethyst, and I think we saw one other person. Um, we see all. We see all those. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. In the in the new footage, Amethyst is there. Um, oh, awesome! Okay, great. Yeah, and then uh, I'm assuming Pearl, of course, and then probably Lapis and Peridot. I'd imagine that would make okay, the most that'd sense. That'd be awesome, please. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if not, maybe Ruby and Sapphire, but that'd be kind of weird. Um, but that kind of begs the question, is there going to be, are there going to be fusions here? Because we know in the first one there was Alexandrite, like this, because Rebecca Sugar said there's only eight playable characters, but does that, is that just the eight base play characters that you can use and then you can fuse depending on which character combinations you have potentially? I mean, that would be ideal, but in the last one, Alexandra was just like a special move if you had like full health or enough stars right. for that. Um, so, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, it was a cool final attack or strong attack to use, um, but if they actually brought it to another level and like actually you could play as fusions, that would be absolutely amazing. Would love a game with that in it. Yeah, if they could do like a like a fusion gauge or something, and then like once it's filled up, you can, yeah. if you have any potential fusions, um, you could do that, because I think almost every combination should have a fusion for the most part. Um, but again, I don't know like how recent we're going like would there be a smoky quartz is that too recent i I feel like there's enough time at this point yeah i don't know that that'd be that'd be really cool i think that would be that would definitely set the game apart and make it even more interesting um so here's the description on the uh playstation blog of course this is actually confirmed for playstation 4 we don't know if it's confirmed for anything else yet i know a lot of people are kind of like uh put it on the switch put it on pc but it's like "Eh, well we don't know yet relax wait until (laughs) they announce more consoles i feel like it would make a lot of sense on the switch um i think it'd be kind of a missed opportunity not to have it especially since the original was on a mobile app and the switch is kind of like a tablet (laughs) you have like the touch screen and stuff so it would make perfect sense for it to be on the switch but yeah personally for me personally it doesn't matter either way because i have a playstation 4 (laughs) Um, but yeah i definitely see why people would want it on the switch maybe even the pc that might make sense um i feel like it's not really an xbox type of game um, but yeah, on the PlayStation blog, the description is what we can tell you is, is it's a unique RPG that combines elements of real time and turn based combat. So that's pretty interesting. I, li- I like I prefer real time combat. Um, I don't know about you. 
I mean, um, yeah, I mean, the first one was like that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I haven't played the first one, so um, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like that they're kind of combining real time and turn based. Um, players can customize their party using many of the characters from the show as they play through an original story co written by the aforementioned Rebecca Sugar. So, if you guys don't know, Attack the Light, the original mobile game, was I think level two canon. So that's like it's like semi canon. So it's like yeah. could fit in the story maybe. And if there are any plot holes, you just kind of disregard them. Sort of. I feel like this is going to be in the same vein, especially since it's a sequel and it is co-written by Rebecca Sugar. And it said it since Rebecca Sugar had a hand to save the light. You know that surprises await fans, gamers, all of us. Grumpy fans. Chris Graham said this game is bigger, deeper, and has more epic adventures designed for consoles. So that's all. That's a really good sign. Uh, compared to the attack the light so what does this mean i'll let chris explain and then there's a quote from chris uh this time around we're featuring an updated battle system with fully customizable character selection more emphasis on exploration and puzzle solving in 3d environments and an all-new story from the brilliant rebecca sugar and her steven universe team best of all save the light has been designed to serve as an entry point for players unfamiliar with steven universe while also giving super fans new surprises and insight into the show's captivating world and lore so that's really really exciting do you think we'll get like any major lore pieces i mean i would hope so it said that it was co-written by rebecca sugar so mm-hmm. there might be something in there yeah um so save the light begins when a mysterious warrior arrives in beach city and steals a powerful weapon and then it's up to the crystal gems to embark on the magical mission to end all magical missions steven and the gems must travel far beyond beach city battle an army of creepy creatures and stop a no good prism snatcher in order to save the light that's uh that's sounds really interesting like yeah, the what, first part the first part, yeah, like yeah. serious warrior, is that like a gem or just a human? Either? Yeah, that's that's the question. Like, uh, are we gonna face like a human adversary? That'd be pretty cool. Maybe like some type of like, uh, s- sort of like Ronaldo type characters that maybe <laughs> hopefully more interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's like uh, it, maybe like conspiracy theorists because it is a theory that the government is aware of the gems' history and stuff. So I don't know, and, and also the gems are just out in public all the time. The alien invasions, I'm sure the world is aware of. So I, it'd be really interesting to see how some someone else, like from another part of the world, is reacting to uh, what is happening, um, because that's pretty it's a pretty big deal. Aliens <laughs> invading Earth, like I feel like that that should be talked about more. Um, so it'd be really cool to see if there's like a human villain that is like kind of against the gems because they're aliens. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm hoping learn more about like humans' reactions to these things. That'd be that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, sort of like a, a dib character from Invader Zim. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, if it's a gem, I'm not sure how that would work. Like, would it just be a homeworld gem? Would it be a corrupted gem? Because it said a warrior, so I feel like a corrupted gem wouldn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Yeah, we yeah, are just a gem they missed. I guess I don't, I don't know. They just never saw them. They're just hiding, and then they just. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that doesn't make sense. They'd have to be corrupted. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless, yeah, like, like you said, unless there's like some hidden gem somewhere, but I feel like that would be kind of a stretch. And to introduce such a character in a game would be kind of crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I don't think there's going to, unless they figure out a way to tie it all at the end where it like doesn't actually have any bearing on the plot. Like they just bubble her away forever or something. <laughs> um, yeah. That's like the only way that would make sense. And I, I don't think there's going to be like some type of homeworld gem that invades all of a sudden out of nowhere. Um, that'd be kind. That'd be kind, that'd be a little too much. Um, that seems like something that would be more so in the show. But yeah, if we look at the gameplay, uh, we see Lars and Sadie keep popping up a lot. I've noticed. Um, I wonder if there's going to be like side missions, like sort of like how there are side episodes <laughs> in Steven Universe, True. where you can like talk to like the Beach City citizens and they'll like have you. Oh no, I lost my keys to the big donut. I think <laughs> I dropped them. Burr, 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 burr. Can you find them? Like yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, we can see that in one uh, piece of footage in the trailer. They're actually fighting in a forest of some kind. So it looks like they're going to definitely be leaving Beach City by the looks of it. I don't know if they're just using like the warp pad. How, how did that work in the uh, attack of light? I'm assuming they yeah, use warp pads. Yeah, there's warp pads yeah. that you just traveled to. Um, you don't really get to move around too much. It's a pretty linear path. Um, so maybe this will change it. Or, I mean, from the looks of it, it's pretty much the same with uh, moving and stuff and then fighting. Um, just expanding on that, I guess. That's what they mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what they're doing. And I like to point out that Greg is using his electric guitar to fight, which if you watched my uh, video covering Ronaldo, um, Ronaldo uh, on the Keep Beach City Weird blog, he actually had a post about 
the guitar dad shirt and how Greg was like another being from a, a, an alien world and he could use his electric guitar <laughs> to send sonic electric energy and I and I call that that might actually come into play. So I don't know if this is just the beginning of that or this is where it ends. Uh, but I think I think that's kind of a callback to that, or at least that was foreshadowing that that concept uh, being used in the future. Ooh, I like that. I like the idea of that. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm glad I somewhat called <laughs> that. Um, looks like you can do like cool like combos. There's a part where Steven jumps into Amethyst Arms in a bubble, and then Am- or Amethyst Arms, Garnet's Arms. Um, and then she throws him and then he uses the spike ball. So there's a lot of recent stuff. Amethyst is in her white outfit. So it looks like it's pretty, pretty up to date. So I'm, I'm super duper excited. Um, is there anything specific you would want to see in Save the Light? Besides uh, a lot of like, all, I mean, like playing as gems mm-hmm. um, and a lot of attacks for them. And then we seen we see that there's new attacks, I believe. So mm-hmm. that's cool. It's just like pretty much every thing I could want. Like, <laughs> so again, that's yeah. I, I didn't have my expectations too high, so I was like, oh, this looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if, like, Lapis will be OP, because she's, like, w- by far the strongest, it looks like, besides maybe Garnet. So I wonder if I wonder if they're going to, like, kind of base it off of the the character themselves, or you're just kind of going to be able to level them up how you want. Because, um, like, Greg, I don't know how strong Greg could really get, because he's, he's just Greg. <laughs> really, really interested to see. I, hope, I really hope they introduce fusions. Uh, we don't have a release date for this just yet, but it is coming out sometime this year. So uh, as we get more information about like the consoles, any more trailers or features, we'll definitely keep you posted on the channel. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye, guys.